everybody. So uh, for years, I have used a kneaded eraser or gummy eraser and have asked my students to get uh, their own kneaded eraser as well. And for some reason, the um, Prismacolor or design brand, I believe they're the same thing actually. I might be wrong though, but the Prismacolor um, uh, kneaded eraser has been shipping to me and my students in a really, like it seems like the formula is wrong. Now, now I'm questioning myself. I believe it's the Prismacolor one that's been the problem, but it might be the design brand one. I think it's the Prismacolor one. And I, in fact, emailed Prismacolor um, earlier to try to get a response from them. Um, some of them will stretch nicely and other of them, they seem like they come and they're so hard that you can't even pull them apart. Like my little kids who are seven and eight, they are like, I cannot even tear this gummy eraser apart. So I wanted to do a comparison of different brands of gummy erasers so that we could see which ones seem to be the most high quality. Now this is just one gummy eraser. Maybe I might have bought two. Um, or some of them are brands that I've bought in the past so that I have a little bit more familiarity with them. Um, so this isn't an exhaustive study, but it is just sort of a sampling of what is out there and which ones seem to be the best eraser for your money. So let's take a look down. I'll show you some examples of where I erased and I'll show you the different types of erasers that I picked. So um, the first one that I picked was the Blick eraser. Um, this one came in a package that honestly was the hardest package to open. You can see it's in several different pieces um, because I could barely get it off the eraser. It's got its own stickiness to it. Um, the eraser took a couple of minutes to knead up, but once I did knead it up, it was nice and stretchy and I thought it um, warmed up really nicely. And then I was able to erase with what I call the press and the roll. Um, my HB and my 9B pencil. And then down here, I did a little bit of a drag over a light smudging just to see how it cleaned up smudges. It seemed like it worked pretty well, but I would say just because it took me so long to get it working um, and needed and get it out of the package, it wasn't my favorite. The Faber-Castell one I've bought lots of times just because it comes in this little plastic container. And this one is not my favorite because it's formulated to be much softer. And so what happens is like little tiny bits wind up being flung all over the studio. Usually it's when my students are messing around with it. And so then it gets stuck on my floor, it gets stuck on the desk, it gets stuck on my fingernails, um, it gets stuck on my kids' hands. And so because it's just a little bit gooier and softer than the other ones, I don't like this one as much. <clears throat> it did seem to erase fine, and it actually did seem to get the smudges just a little tiny bit more, but I don't think it's worth the extra trouble. Then I bought the General's Kneaded Eraser, which I had never bought before. I always wanna like this brand because it's one of the American-made brands, but this one, I don't know if you can see this, but this gummy eraser doesn't even stretch. It just breaks. So <laughs> this was my least favorite. And because it doesn't stretch, it always has these rough edges. So when I did my press and my roll, I don't know if you can see this here, but it left a bunch of little um, patches behind because I couldn't get a smooth surface out of it. When I'm using one that stretches a little bit more, I'm able to fold it to get this smooth surface so that when I do a press and a roll there, it's gonna get a much um, smoother lift. Whereas this one, because I can't get that smooth surface, it just tears. I always have just a chunky edge to work with. So based on this, I would never buy this one again. I don't know if this is an unusual eraser for them or if this is typical of what you're gonna see, but that one I'm never gonna buy again. Then the Lyra, this one actually is my favorite. It's my favorite because it comes with a little case. And I bought a couple of these because I know I like them. And this is what's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but will it focus? Um, it probably won't focus. It, this one, one came totally regular, just looked like a gummy eraser. This one, let's see if I can open it and show you. This one has sparkles in it. I have no idea why it happened like that. But can you see that? Sparkles all throughout it just on the top, it's weird. I hadn't opened this one because of it, 
but it's got sparkles in it. So this kind of felt like a little magical gift from the Lyra eraser family. I don't know why I got fairy dust in my kneaded eraser, but I think this one's gonna work even better than the other one. But you can see here, I mixed up my other one and I did my press and my roll. It does have a few little spots that it didn't press and roll. So it's a little bit of a harder eraser, but I think it cleaned up the smudge as well. Um, and because you never know if you're gonna get one with sparkles in it, this one is always gonna be my go-to purchase from now on. So those are the four different erasers that I reviewed today. Um, again, I'm not sure why we're getting harder erasers from the Prismacolor uh, group, but for some reason, they just haven't been consistently usable in the last, I would say, year and a half. Um, so hopefully this gives you some other options. Let me know if you guys have any questions below, and um, I'll see you again soon.